behind the scenes to bring a big movie like this to life, right? Absolutely. There's an amazing team behind the scenes that, you know, and some of these folks we've seen before, and I'm so excited. We've got Nate Moore who's going to come and join us over here on the stage. People are so excited to chat with him. Oh, we got Nate Moore. Welcome. Welcome, One welcome. Of our producer extraordinaires. Great to see you again. Good to see you guys. How you I, been? <laughs> great. I mean, this, hey, it's all about you tonight, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so excited to see you. I mean, you've been here for almost a decade at yeah. Marvel Studios, and one thing I really admired about the work that you've done and what we're really seeing here in the internals is just the diversity of this right. cast here. Right. Why was it important for you and the team that the Eternals were made up of such a diverse team? <laughs> yeah, I think it, it has a lot to do with Jack Kirby and honoring the creation of the characters and what those characters intended to do here on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> It just led us to look for a diverse cast who happened to be 10 of the most talented actors we've ever worked with. Stop it. Get some help. Well, look, we all were there for Avengers Endgame. We lost some heavy hitters, and it's important to introduce some new heroes that hopefully people really invest in. I mean, top to bottom, I think this cast is as strong as we've ever had. you got to be fucking kidding. And the hope is this can be somebody's new favorite uh, franchise. Uh, I think you're going to hit that mark very well. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this movie looks and feels different because Chloe forced us a bit out of our comfort zone. And one of the, honestly, the, the treasures of getting to work here is working with different filmmakers like Chloe, like Ryan Coogler, like Taika Waititi, who all bring a different point of view, a different style, and help us to evolve because we don't want to make the same movie over, over and over. And we don't think our fans want to watch the same movie over and over. Stop it. Get some help. And it's not just an all-star cast. We've got an all-star lineup of fans out here. Uh, uh, what are you excited about seeing in the film tonight? Oh, Gemma Chan as Cersei. She's going to be a total badass. I have no idea where you got. Why do you love Marvel Studios films? Because it's awesome. The characters, the action, the storylines, all of it. Just plain awesome. Are you retarded? It's not a rhetorical question. Are you retarded? No, I'm not. The only thing I'm going to say Es que tenemos dos superhéroes. De, a mí no me interesa que aprendan todos. <laughs> this is how international the movie is. You should please speak. <laughs> you have the first Latina, mm. the first South Korean. God bless Eternals. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what for you means the most about bringing the Eternals here to the MCU and at this juncture in the MCU? When you look at the cast and you see the film, I my words will not mean anything. That's all you have to do. No. You just <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> a movie with Chloe Zhao directing a Marvel movie. That's amazing, but this cast, I mean, it's so unreal. Like, every single person is so good and so different. It really was magical, you know? We really, really, I'm sure everybody says this when they do a movie together, but it really, really became a family. <laughs> Well, it, all of the inspiration for all this starts with Jack Kirby, uh, obviously, and as our fans know more than anyone, that, that the genius of Jack Kirby drawing, writing, coming up with all of the incredible Marvel things, but particularly this, that, that that's where it all started. 